Hi folks, Dave. A quick video just to give everybody a sense of what I'm looking for in this assignment. We're taking your assignment that you handed in in November and we're going over it. We're trying to review it. We're trying to do that kind of reflection that I think is absolutely critical to every teacher who is uh, looking to get better at the work they do. So this is just the template that I gave you guys before. Uh, so what I want you to do is go back to given sections, go through the kinds of topics that I mentioned um, in the assignment, so time and how do you do improvement and whatever else, or anything else you want to comment about, frankly, um, and then make comments on this document, reflect on it, and then have a discussion with each other. So if I wanted to comment on the word independence here, uh, on the top of the page, uh, you'll see review, that's where you want to get to, right? So I'll show you how to do it, hit click review, this will pop up. I've highlighted into dependence. I'm going to hit comment, new comment. I think independence might be too high a bar for the students in this class. What I think I'd like them to do is have uh, a little independence, but really just be a little less scared to try things, even if there's a lot of scaffolding. Um, so I'm taking a look at one of the hidden objectives that I had. I'm thinking maybe that's reaching too far. I want to be more specific about it. I want to target the idea of kids being scared to try things rather than just independence, which is pretty general, right? And then I'm going to put that comment in. Now, what I really want in the next level of this is for somebody else who's in that class. Notice that my name is on here. I want to see those names on top of the documents. Um, the next person to come in and go, huh, I hadn't thought of fear as something that we should work on. That's a good point. I wonder how we can see that idea of fear through the equity lens we've been talking about. Maybe there's something. And then here you might insert something from the, um, from the UDL model. UDL model something something. Right? So what we've got here is a conversation, and that should be two different people. We've got a conversation that's happening about the work that we're doing, thinking about it, thinking about how to improve it, and that's the keystone to all of this, right? So we're looking at, I said five to 15 comments. I'm looking for a substantive conversation amongst your group inside of those. That's the first part. Now the second part is to go down below all of this and create another section that says equity responses, and then each of you, so, Person one in group should then go ahead and write their equity response using the guidelines that we've talked about using UDL. Want something from your own experience, it's how it, that experience changes your perspective on what you might need to do, things you might need to put in place, whether or not you want to think about it through the lens of some a student who has a hearing challenge or a student who has an attention issue or a student who has whatever that issue is that you noticed whenever you were teaching inside of the classrooms during your placement, and then think about how you would change this activity based on your knowing of there being difference inside of the classroom. So, right, first part is the comments, second part are these equity responses, and each person should write an equity response inside this space. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. We'll see you guys on Wednesday.